Okay. Ah, this is it. Let's continue. Starved for help. Well, that. <laughs> yeah, but there were so many spoilers in the in the uh, previous episode. I cannot believe that. On the walking dead. I know who you are. I Get got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, your ass. Could he be a racist? I don't know. Could it be ra a, a, yeah. that he doesn't like us because we're black? It could be. But there has been no indication. He's an asshole to everyone. Okay, three months? Are you kidding me? Well, we better have learned to use the axe. That's better. Damn, what'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Who the fuck is that I guy? I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Not enough. According to Lily, we've just about hit the last of our food reserves. Some people might have to go without tonight. You mean Lily's lottery again? Kenny's gonna be pissed. She thinks everyone should have an equal chance of missing a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Maybe he'll be better off without us. We'll have three fewer mouths to feed. And one fewer gun hand. One way or the other, it's a bad situation. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that. Start finding a way to pull his weight. Our problems are not. We should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. An old racist. <laughs> well, 
that is racist or something. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Yes. Listen, ben, please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kid, chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. This isn't our problem. We should go. No, no, please! At least just look at the trap! Just look at it, and maybe you can tell us how to get it off! Please help me! Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no! Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! You have to get him out! You have to! This is bad. Please do something! Stop! Got the leg! Mark, do you think you can get it open? Please! Get me out! <laughs> Gotta cut the chain! Oh god! I have to cut you out! Yeah! No, no! no. Try the trap again! Anything! Please. Let's go! Let's go! Off with the leg! Lee, it has to be now! Damn it, Lee just cut off his fucking leg! We don't have time for that. I'm sorry. We have to go, now! Lee, I can't keep him back forever!
So we let one healthy boy die and save a cripple. What an amazing trade off. Truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you Agreed. thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. We left the other one behind. Other one? Jesus, Lee. What if there are more of them? What if they followed you here? There wasn't anybody else. Just us. How do you know he's not lying? Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Lily's right. This group needs someone to be a leader or we're all gonna fall apart. We can't keep fighting amongst ourselves. Great. Way to take sides, Lee. <laughs> well, I'm going to take sides with the hair. We're here now. We can't change that. So, what do you want to do? They can stay until Katja finishes working on that guy. Then they have to go. I don't care what condition they're in. We just don't have enough food. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? <laughs> He's pussy with by his own Look, daughter. I That's... can't do this right now. You understand what I'm dealing with? Please do me a favor. I need you to handle the rations today. That's all you're giving out? If we're gonna make what's left last the week, then this is all we can spare today. It's not gonna be enough for everyone, but just do what you think is right. Well, what I think it's right, able-bodied men, or women, those get their food. Children can go to hell. And that fucking asshole as well. <laughs> That's so much people. <laughs> and I have three fucking pieces of food, holy crap, four. So I need to take four. I wonder if there isn't a river in that um, forest that would solve so many problems. Just need to start thinking like the old humans. The humans that came, came up with agriculture and all those things. Well, where did they settle when they were first putting up cities or towns near rivers? Because that's the logical place, not in the middle of nowhere. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. 
All right, let's give food to this guy. Will let's... you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. <laughs> okay, let's see how many people. We have one. One guy. This one is getting nothing. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Uh, what else do we have? That woman is not getting anything. How you uh, doing, Clementine? I'm okay. hungry. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sorry, honey. I don't have time. That was my favorite hat. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. This woman gets it as well. So that's two. Two. Three, maybe? I'll think out it. Four. Uh, who else is here? Four. <laughs> Looks like he's holding a baby. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can... No, the other guy doesn't even have a leg. He's useless now. Let's just start up there. Talking and walking. Why not? And I'm sorry if I have to uh, shut down the stream so many times, but the, the new changes to the way archives work have made it very difficult for me to actually keep track of, of my bots which I upload to YouTube and game anyone, so I have to be careful. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Why not? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. We dug through those for food a long time ago. Okay, let's distribute the food according to my plan. I think it's a sound plan. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kanja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. 
Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Okay, okay. Let's give him food anyway. Here, eat something. What? Half an apple? <laughs> Look at his face, he's so happy. <laughs> it's a wonder he's not salivating. The piece of jerky, the crackers and cheese. I don't know what he likes. <laughs> Smiling. Okay, let's give him the crackers and cheese. No! Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? <sighs> nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him if I'm going to give it to anyone. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, <laughs> that's what you think this is? <laughs> is that what you told me? Okay. Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. That was an interesting conversation. They worked out the, the, the racist thing into this. Can I give her food? I didn't see her before. What do you know? I can give her food. Oh, right. Uh, so I'm guessing this guy is going without any food. Mm, yeah. I didn't see her before up there. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. There is no fucking food! <laughs> we need to... Hey! Lots of gun! <laughs> How are you? We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, very good, thanks. Why not? Let's give her half an apple. Here. Half an apple. Take the apple, Lily. Thanks. The other half goes to her, and the crackers go to that guy. Let's talk to this guy. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. I'm from South America. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, 
I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know. Something. You'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Ah, you're from North America. Great. Let's give up to the children. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you well. take good care of it then. Yeah, I will keep talking. She has been hanging to that thing. At least she knows. Or she's not deluded that, that much. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? This is yeah. strange. Is that man going to be okay? It doesn't look good, Clementine. It doesn't look good. Oh, okay. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Well, not if I have anything to do with it. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A demon? A nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. What? It's a fucking cat, you idiots. Or a tiger, maybe. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Okay. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. But this guy doesn't whine so much, like Clementine. She looks like shit. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Uh, you save the people and they start second guessing themselves why they should be grateful. <laughs> did, did I find the dog? <laughs> Holy shit, it's a tiger? It's a tiger in the mills? <laughs> okay. That would be fun. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. You know that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Okay. Fuck! Fuck! I'll give the food to Larry. I'll give it to Larry. Not fun, more like Groswell. <laughs> I usually enjoy those things a lot. Alright, let's give the food to a fucking Back Larry. A 